Hey everybody, Paul Richards here with Stream Geeks. You might know me from PTZ Optics, but on the PTZ Optics channels, I can't post cool stuff like this, which is how to do Facebook Live reactions questions directly in vMix using Chat Connect Pro. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. First of all, this title right here is a loop of people in your chat room. So this is kind of a little extra thing I'll show you, how to just show pictures and profile names of people who are in your chat room, because you might not want to show their messages potentially. But to get to the really fun part, you know, I don't know if anyone's done Facebook Live reactions questions before. They're a great way to boost engagement. You get a bunch of likes, ha-has, happy faces, love, and that's what shows Facebook, that people are really engaging with your content in a special, authentic way that's better than just a regular like. So managing these is really kind of difficult and it's kind of annoying, I'm not going to lie, with some of the tools out there, the web-based tools. If you're a vMix user, wouldn't it be easier to just use it directly in vMix? It's more reliable and you're never going to have to deal with any of those crazy websites again. This is all built directly into Face uh, to vMix using um, Chat Connect Pro here, which is what I'm going to show you guys how to use. So first of all, let me show you how this works. So here I have um, my vMix data sources out. I have Chat Connect Pro. It's a WordPress plugin that generates a JSON file. And this is the latest edition. It now has a JSON file for live viewers and emojis. So what we can do is we can go ahead and data sources, add it as a JSON file. And I'll just type in Facebook Live Reactions here and then paste in the JSON file uh, that's hosted on your own WordPress, your own server. So you have to have your own WordPress installation. Most people do. Um, so now you can see it's pulling in uh, likes, subscribes, all of that stuff. And we're also pulling in live viewers uh, is going to be in the next update. So now let me show you how to pull this into a title. And we'll actually build the title that you just saw me use right here. So here's text. And basically, that's the area where we're going to put the counter. So we've got a JSON data source, which is pulling live information from Facebook. It's only about a second of latency. And as soon as we link that up, now it'll show the, um, and we can change the size of the, the, um, the number there. Tess actually made this. And I think we need to center it and make that number a little bigger. But you can see it'll pull in those live numbers. And everything's managed on the back end in WordPress. And let me show you how you make a custom title because that title that you're seeing right there, we could change on the fly and it's, we're going to give it away for free. But I think you might want to be, um, if you're like me, you might actually want to build your own. So here's the vMix title editor. I've got Photoshop open and usually, you know, the workflow, you can use Photoshop or GIMP is actually a free version of Photoshop. And what you want to do is, you know, outline whatever title you want to build. You know, the sky's the limit. And, and create a PNG file for that. Um, if you want to be able to change the text in vMix, then you actually want to leave it blank and use the title editor to put in a variable for that text so you, it's changeable later. So here I've added two um, 100 by 100 uh, squares here. You can see me moving that around, those two squares. Though that, those are our quote unquote variables. That's a placeholder for the profile images that I want to pull in here. So I want to have, this is just a little tiny, you know, you can call it a bug. Um, it's an overlay that I'm going to use that's going to pull in the people who are in the chat rooms, whether they're in Facebook or YouTube. I think this is a little nicer than pulling in, you know, it's a lot of space to take profile names, profile pictures and messages. It takes up a lot of real estate. So this is just a nice little bug we can put in the you know bottom right corner of our stream. And now I'm going to save it in a, its own folder. I'm just going to call this who's in the chat, YouTube and Facebook. And I'm going to go ahead, save that. And I'm going to go ahead and name the title. And once it's been saved, I'll go ahead and open it up in its folder here. Let me pull that over. And we need to take that the, those files there and we need to put it in the folder of vMix titles. So go ahead and copy it. Go over to uh, Program Files. We can go over to vMix. And then we can go ahead over to uh, Titles. And I have my own folder in here called Custom. And I just go ahead and some of the things I just go ahead in there and make sure all the files are moved over. Once they're moved over, you can use the, you can use them directly into 
vmix. Now the last thing I'll show here is populating that information will come from our live chat, which we have for YouTube and Facebook. There's the JSON link. I'll go ahead and paste that into uh, my vmix data sources here. There we go. And Facebook chat from the chat and I'll paste that in and it's really quick it's it's just data it's not nothing high bandwidth it'll go ahead and populate and this brings in pretty much everything we need you know the from name the picture the uh, profile name and we can do this for Facebook and YouTube but I also have templates for just Facebook live or just YouTube live if you're just streaming to one of those locations so we pick our JSON file we go ahead and pick the profile and you can see that populates as soon as you click OK. Then we go into image, same thing in the data source. And we go ahead and swoop that up. And you'll see here that everything populates honky dory, which is just great. So didn't realize that should be everything. And you can see the last thing I'll mention is that auto next and that loop feature is because the data is already populated. What you want to do is probably auto next. So the latest chat and you can actually do, you know, wait 10 seconds on that. So auto next is a great way to um, just as people are chatting, that data is populating and it just, you know, take 10 seconds on each person and go to the next. You can have it loop and go back to the top of the data. Or you, if you just leave loop off and leave auto next on, it'll just keep going to the next chat and stay on the most recent, which is good if you're showing the messages. If you're not showing the messages and you're just showing the pictures and the profile names, use a loop because some people leave, some people are there early. You can just keep looping through. You can choose the amount of time that you want. That's Facebook Live Reactions inside vMix using Chat Connect Pro. And there's a whole lot more you can do with it. So check out the other videos at chatconnectpro.com. Thank you for watching this long video. I hope it was helpful for you.